so I thought I'd do a quick little video on setting it up and if you watched our last camping video you'll see that we set this tent up because of the rain and we used it to cook in and set in to stay out of the rain yet still be able to see the lake so let's go ahead and pull the tent out I've got it in the Cherokee let me flip this camera around more As you can see, it does fit crossways in the back of the G patch. And I got this at Academy Sporting Goods. And it is Oragius brand. UPF 50 sun protection. There's the dimensions. So I'm going to set this up so y'all can see it. So let me set the phone up on the tripod and we'll get with it. Comes with the bag of steaks, instructions, and a patch kit. I think that's what they need. A tent or floor kit. Has some straps that you can tie around the tent before putting it up, which I didn't do last time because I was in a hurry. Okay, you have these bags. If you're someplace you can't stake it down, you can put weight, sand, rocks, whatever you have in these bags to help hold it down. Or there's stake loops. One on each corner of the flap. And you have one on each corner of the leg. And now let me grab y'all. So those are the sandbags and like I said there's one on each corner now these are your pop-out hubs and you have a handle that you can yank it out with if you don't want to go inside and do it the way I did it and on each of the hubs there's a neon tie down strap that you can put in the ground to support it and you have those on three sides third side over here 
and then you have one up on top. And you saw how quick this popped up. So a lot of places we go swim on the beach, there's no trees, so you have no shade. And you're right in the sun. So if you get one of these, you can get in there and they are uh, have 50 sun block. So you're getting some protection from the sun. And as you can see inside, the bottom has netting. So air flows through on the three sides and of course the front's totally open. Now, we set this up, that's one reason I wanted to set this up so I can clean it up. But we set this up our last camping trip and we was in rain and uh, we got over three and a half inches of rain. So we set this up and I had my lawn chairs, a small table, my big Coleman camping table with my Coleman stove and we used this to cook in so I could cook out of the rain yet not have to cook in the big tent that we were staying in so I didn't smoke it up and I did make coffee in our big tent but the bacon and eggs was cooked in this tent you can go back to that last video where we was camping big fur and you can see the setup uh, we did with it and uh, although we didn't use it as a beach tent on the beach for swimming we did use it for that and uh, it came in really handy and uh, while it was raining, we sat in there and watched the boats on the lake and stayed out of the sun. And there was breeze coming through there, so uh, we stayed comfortable. Now, it did get hot later in the day. The rain passed on through, and we did get in the lake. But we just left this where it was. Now, the wind did get up pretty high after the rain moved out. For some reason, the wind got really hard, and this thing stayed rock solid. So I think on a windy beach, it would do just fine. But I just wanted to show you how quick it is to set up and how it doesn't take up a lot of space in your trunk. So it is a good extra piece of equipment to have for your overlanding, camping, beach adventures. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up and be sure to comment and ask questions in the comment section. Thank you.